evening guys, welcome to the third instalment of Stardew Valley. Just going to get straight into it today. Hang on, I've gone and pressed the wrong thing. Hold on, load, not new. Right then, YouTube form, this is our file here. And as I say, today we're going to concentrate on getting our fishing level up. So one thing as we will need today is the pole. Ah yes, he's just giving you a, a recipe. something else that we can do today, get some furnaces on the go. Oh yes, this one's from the Adventurer's Guild. So we'll have to get the crops watered first, obviously. We'll do fishing for this day and then the following day we'll see about getting some more copper pieces and at that point we're going to be able to focus on getting the first furnaces. You need the furnaces because you need the ingots and you'll see what I, I mean in a bit because the, the ingots are then used to upgrade your tools and they are used in other crafting recipes as well but today as promised it's fishing day Fishing does actually cost you energy as well, so I would highly recommend trying to make sure your energy bar is as full as it possibly can be. So I'm just going to have a little quick scout around just to see if uh, there's any forageables I can find to increase the amount of energy we have down here. We haven't got the best amount, to be fair. don't always find forageables if not we'll just make do with the amount that we have no that was heading up to the mine there buy food from the saloon as well but it's not open at this time of day unfortunately so it looks like today we may just be making do with what we have unless there's something around here there occasionally is you might find something there or something around here not today apparently not to worry. Hold on. I'll catch as many as I can, all things considered. We are only on day seven. The best place to actually do your fishing is on the pier. I think anyway.
see if I can catch something decent. Sometimes it can take a little while for the fish to actually come. Oh, may as well have that. Gives you a tiny bit of energy, not really much, but whatever. It's not uncommon to end up with driftwood and things either. Now you can fish absolutely anywhere, including in any of the rivers or other bodies of water. You don't have to necessarily come down here to do fishing. And you will find different fish at different locations. Hey, we got an actual fish. It can sometimes be a bit fiddly. sardine. If you do run really low on energy, you can actually eat one of the fish if you wanted to. But it's a good idea to just get the fish and then to sell them if you can. It's another one. See, that's a larger sardine. You won't only find sardines, there are other things as well that uh, you can get in this area. So I end up with another sardine. But they are quite common. Losing the fish if I ain't careful. I've got that as well. Concentrate on just the fish. No idea what's in those chests until you actually open them. This one's an awkward one. That's handy. Just get a couple. Actually, we can go and open the geodes simply because I haven't got much inventory space yet. But if we do a little bit of fishing every day, then that is going to help. Because you do increase your fishing level. So we'll come and open these geodes first of all. And of course we can continue building the collection in here. Now that you get a reward, cauliflower seeds. And you can save the seeds for as long as you want. Now I'll just go and prove a point so you can fish in here as well. I'll catch one more fish, which I'll do in here. Fish. That'll do us. Oh, thinking about it, I can actually catch another one too, because that can go in the bin. 
don't need that. It's always worth saving algae. Is there anything? No, there's no foro troubles here for me to come back to. It doesn't look like there are any today, unfortunately. So, pop those in there. Last time I tried fishing in there, it just showed up trash, but I will see if that's always the case or whether I was just unfortunate in that instance. on the trash items will prove useful but it's far too early in the game for that yet after all we're just on the closing hours of our first week I'll keep that in there because another tiny little bit of energy for if I needed it. And there we go, our fishing level has been increased by one. need a well really. I've never used one. That's what happens if you run out of water. Right. I'm almost done with this part. I'm going to get us ready for this mining trip so that means shedding anything that's unnecessary so we're not going to want that 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 or that we do want that I know I usually would save this however in this instance I'm going to take that and that because there's a small amount of energy available to us in those things and we are pretty low on forageable items. In fact, I might have them now. It's given us a little bit. It's not much. It's something.
With any luck, we'll find some cave carrots while we go mining. They provide a little bit of energy too. Ah! Useful. Let's give us this bit of a healthier supply. Let's go straight down to level 5, which is where we should be. This is what we've come for. So now we just have to keep on breaking rocks until we find the exit. You will find you'll build up quite a healthy collection of stone. Occasionally you can get a little bit of copper or whatever else from that too. There's nothing in that box. That does sometimes happen, unfortunately. to see if I can actually make it down to level 10. Hmm. I'm trying to preserve what energy I have, not use too much. the stinge. They aren't all stingy. Just been a little unfortunate here. There's, ah, there's some stuff around here. Don't really need that. So let's get to level 10. Chuck out the sap. Don't particularly need that either. Now that gives you a little bit of extra defence, so put the boots on. I've spotted the exit straight away. engaging with the slimes if possible. Mm. 
the energy situation at this point is getting a bit dire. So I have the 20 pieces of copper that I'm going to need to actually craft a furnace. It's the main reason I came in there today. as time goes on you can you can build as many furnaces as you want to you don't have to um, stick with just the one it's actually quite an advantage to have more than one in my opinion and for this let's solve the topaz we can solve those I can't believe just how little we actually found So now we have a furnace. And how you how you do this now? You come across something like that that you can smelt. Just do that. Sleep for the night. That there's refined quartz. Oh, we will actually be able to do some. We'll be able to do three bars of copper as well. That's a bit of a brucey bonus. the parsnips. You can also eat the crops for energy if you want but personally I would sell them. Let's just water the plots. We'll need to go to the shop for some seeds. But as always, it doesn't open until nine o'clock. It's a good job it's not a Wednesday as well, because the shop's always closed on a Wednesday, which is a bit of a pain in the bum, but... No, you would just use the Joja Mart if you really needed some seeds on a Wednesday. As far as I know, the Joja Mart is open every single day. cat anyway, I keep forgetting to force my cat. Oh, there, there she is. Happy now. Doesn't matter what time of day you actually plant the seeds either. me I think I'll take that with me take the geodes they need uh, to be processed as well Nine, ten, mm -hmm. not sure what else I'm going to need to be fair so I'm sorry I'll just take them that's fine Let's 
get a little bit more fishing done. Oh, there is a bit of forage there. That'll go in the basket. Actually do that now. I don't want the inventory becoming too full. There's only going to be one more to be smelted afterwards. I might actually wait until this is done before I go to the shop. No, no, yeah, okay. I can say I can be an impatient sod at times. Wrong key. Right. Let's go to the shop. You do actually need five copper bars in order to upgrade your tools. And I'd always recommend doing the pickaxe first. Because that will make your mining journey quite a bit easier. Trust me. We'll go to Pierre's first. And some of these seeds are a bit expensive from the looks of it. I think I'll just do the parsnips again. Ah. on the stinge today. Oh damn, we haven't got enough money to do that. Fish is awkward. Officially. It looks like I'll be getting those geodes opened when I've got some actual money.
just catch a couple more. Won't go beyond that because of me energy. Oh no. Come on. I just have to keep an eye down here. This one will be the last fish, and then we'll head home. That's fine. Can go home this way and if I find some quick forage, it might be useful. This way. Occasionally you will find forageable items around this kind of area. Not always. And not today from the looks of that. Right then, let's head up. already fussed the cat I think. We'll have plenty of money tomorrow for opening the geode. Throw that away. A little bit random. I sometimes do this if I haven't been able to buy quite enough seeds. You can always plant the random seeds. It just gives you a random crop for that year. There we go. And that gives a healthy supply of money as well. So now that we've reached day 10... What I will do is exit. And I will see you again fairly soon. I'll do another video. And see you next time.